We finished with cash and cash equivalents. Can you please have a look? By the way, I set the paper for this term on yesterday. I finished it last night. It's only on term two work. Uh, we are not going to have time to do revision. It's not going to have time to do it. So this net quartal two work. What is in quartal two we do? Partnerships. Everything about partnerships. It's this net or quartal to be back. It's only two questions. Just term two work. There's not enough time for us to do revision on term one's work. Yes. Yes, there can be theory as well. It's term, term two's work. This is term two work. It's here quartal to back. So that means it's sharing the profit statement of comprehensive income. This deal for deal events. Start from um, on fatene the the notes to the statement of financial position, the notas for the start from financial position, and the statement of financial position. It's just term two work. Your test is just term two work. Next fund the eerste kwartaal, but is rachtig. I don't have time. I don't like. I wouldn't want you to write something that we didn't do revision on yet. So this my only recommendation. So I can only refer us. All is for Nootskappe, everything on partnerships, because that, according to the ATP, is what we were supposed to do with them too. Everything according. So that means I will not. I remember I've asked um, the note for fixed assets in the project. Can you tell me what I've asked about this in the project? I can't tell you what I've asked. I'm not going to ask you that note again. But I did not ask the note for. Account. I get need in what I've prepared to reckon and have a So that is a nice note that I can ask. I can buy a pint and because in that note I test how if you understand how to share the profit between the parties. And then what I deal for deal, you only must see when this need to be for what I write. On the basis of what we have last year, we are busy with the notes. Just revision on the notes. Cash and cash equivalents. Remember, I told you that. Cash and cash equivalents are anything that is already cash of its what binary for the year contant can work. Are you fine with that? It's either cash already now or it will turn into cash within the next year. In all what binary what in the year and contant can for under is this fixed deposit. It's all what in the year and contant can for under. And they tell us here that the fixed half of the fixed deposit will mature. Half of that fixed deposit, which is 75,000 Rand, will now fall under cash and cash equivalents. Is he buy down What else is cash? Come on, what other is not contant? Bank with a credit. Let's start here. He says all your contant rekening. Those are your cash accounts. Come on, make it come blue. You can see an approved balance. Is hella. This is a an extract from a trial balance. They are always um, grouped together. Savings account is for your account. Savings account is available immediately. Bank, if bank has a debit balance, as bank a credit saldo is, then it's almost overtrokken. If bank has a credit balance, it's an overdraft. Then it's not part of cash because an overdraft means you owe the bank money. And then it's our Vista Health cash flow. That is the change inside your till. In on clan cost petty cash, that's the change in the little box. Chill right. all right. Are you fine with that? I'm busy with the grade 12 exam, but I think it's 15. But right. So let's start here. We're going to put savings account of 10,500 in bank. We cannot add because bank is a credit balance. Or some for this account insert, and we will put cash flow in. So in our notes, savings account, spare account. I can even make a theory here for you. Now, this is what I want to make a mark of on last week. Now, here we have it. Is savings account twelve thousand five hundred? Is savings account twelve thousand five hundred? Ten thousand five hundred. Okay. Then there is not bank, but there is cash flow. There was not bank, but the bank had a credit saldo. And there was a petty cash. There was also a client cash. 
En ik heb in de ook een min voor jullie gemaakt. So just please remember there should be another line. Um, um, petty cash was 500 and 4000. Oké, okay. 4000 en 500. Is there anyone who has a problem with this note? Hier die nota het jy eindelijk al laas jaar gedoen. Als je ons het al laas jaar gedoen, kan jy laan onthou. To ons hierdie, ons het gegaan tot by nota nummer 6. We did number, notes number 3, not number 3, number 4, 5 en 6. Ons het nie nummer 3 gedoen, ons het nummer 3 hierdie jaar gedoen. If we add up here, as ons hier so gaan optel, kom ons kyk gauw gauw, 10.511.086 krij jylle ook 90.000. Is dat 90.000? Can you please check for me? Ek denk het is soveel, maar is moeilijk makkelijk vir my om een fout te maak. 90.000 on the dot. Is jylle recht? Are we ok with that? Is jylle alright hier mee? Is daar iemand wat een probleem het? Ok. Now we have all the information we need to complete the statement. Ons moet nou hierdie start gaan voltooi. Dit is our next step. Hier is ons ontstaat. Ek sê, ek weet, ga daar weg al. Dit klaar gedoen. Right. Now, remember I told you, this statement consists out of two parts. The assets, the bates, and owners, equity, and liabilities. En toe ek ook vir jou gesê, hierdie start is actually the proof of assets equals owners, equity, and liabilities. Assets equals owners, equity, and liabilities is your accounting equation. Now, die vergelijking sê maas, bates is gelijk aan eienaars belang plus laste. Now, we're going to look for these amounts. Ons moet nou die bedrag gaan soek in die lysie van saldoes. The first one, the fixed assets, had it for us by the inlichting gesê in the information, that told you fixed assets will be the balancing amount. So dit is nie gegeen nie. Dit gaan een vraagteken wees. We don't know yet what it is. Hulle sê vir jou, we're not giving you that amount. As jy by die lysie van saldoes gaan kyk, in the list of balances, you will see fixed assets at carrying value, question mark. And they told you that's the bad, that's a missing amount. This is a unbreaking bedrag. I'm going to show you now how to calculate the missing amount. So we cannot fill that one in yet because we don't know what it is. If this was, if this question could have been where you had to do note number three, and dan sal jy die waarde daarvan gekryd in nota nummer drie. But I'm not asking you note three now. Um, we are busy just learning the format of this statement. Dan moet ons gaan kyk ons volgende bedrag. Ek is jammer, ek moet so op en af gaan. Volgende bedrag wat ons moet gaan soek is our financial asset and the financial asset is the fixed deposit en die vaste deposit toe is by wat er bank nou weer. Ek kan nie dat ek om in FNB. So I'm going to write in, hier so daai gaan ek verander na FNB. Fixed deposit, it's FNB. En FNB, daai vaste deposit moes een story gehad. Kan jy remember? The fixed deposit balance was 150,000. Then they told us that 50% of that is going to mature. So we will blow over as a fast deposit to only 75 because the other 75 is turned is going to turn into cash. Can you learn how? Net 75. So come and write that in. It is jammer dat gaan so op en af, maar ek wil nou hier jy moet minder so jy sal moet op en af gaan. Um, oh, I know that whatever is inside a block I have to add, and if I add, I'll write the answer at the top. Ek kan nou niks optel nie, want daar is een bedrag weg. Is jylle by daarmee? Then our current assets consist out of inventories. Jy het nou net die nota gedoen, we've done the note for inventories. So let's go to the note. Note number four, set inventories is 86,500. So ek gaan inset. 86.500. Yeah, okay, Domia. Are you fine? Note number five is trade in other receivables, handles in other ontvangbare bedrag. Jy het nota nummer vijf gedoen. 57.700. There's the note. Are you okay with this? There's the note. 57.700. Op die mooiste plek is kruis, daar. 
And I remember cash and cash equivalents was 90,000. Also, no net Okay, Dami, are you fine with that? Those amounts you've all killed. And the nice thing about this statement is if your notes are wrong, get the it's for kirk in your nota. But you get your for kirk to tall here come and skip them as give you the marks. Because I cannot penalize you twice for the same mistake. Still a bag though, man. But if you if you don't show me the note, then how do I know where you get your amount from? There's little blocks. So everything in this block must be added. So it's the 90,000 plus the 57,700 plus the 86,500. Just check. Answer always at the top of the block. Now, answer come out in both block. 2, 3, 4, 200. Shall I okay, Dami? Are we fine? Is that the right amount? Did you check? Is it right, Sebastian? What if all my total assets will be? My non-current assets plus my current assets. I cannot do that yet. So I'm putting a question mark there. I can it not do it, but I get in my new drive spot. Is it all right, Dami? Right, equity and liabilities. Consists out of owner's equity, which is note seven capital, which you can do. Note eight current accounts, preferred reckoning of what you can do. I get so many oefening, so many bedrag here. I told you in this list of balances, um, capital, star standard, capital for Brooks, in capital for Crooks is 500,000 and 450. So in total, it's 950,000. You will get that from the note. If you are, normally you would do the note, the note for capital. Remember, um, balances at the start, capital contributed, capital withdrawn, and then you get balances at the end. Can you look on down? What I see that? Can you remember this item? We've done note seven already. Can you remember this? Far, far away. You need to, you need to make sure that you, when we do work, that you get that in your head. So in total, what will the capital accounts be? The 500 plus the 450,000, that gives me 950. Is you all right, Dami? Yeah, okay with that. There will be a note. You're supposed to know how to do the note. Then the private rekening is almost ook a note here. What are the balances in the current accounts? There is a 25,000 rand and a 10,000 rand debit. So what will the total be? 15. 25 minus the 10, eh? 25 minus 15. Remember the current account item, the balance for current accounts? You make sure that you know that. That's one of those that you do not need to know the wording. The entire word is the for the 15,000 in here. Remember, normally you would do the notes, but I could take spot. I wanted to show you this without doing all the notes again. Everything inside the block, Total on top. Are you fine with that? Is she all right, Dami? Right. Non-current liabilities is a loan. Let's just see what where is our loan. Ons leaning is war. At absent. And we already calculated that 50,000 Rand is going to change into a current liability. That part of the loan you are paying next year can no longer be non current. That ch changes into current. The deal of the learning, what is the year of the year? It's not a new bedrijfslast. It's for under now a bedrijfslast. So I can now inscribe learning upside. This is how you, you have to write it like this. Loan apps are back. I'm going to go back for it. Learning. And now, as I know for you, I can't even go out. Give me what I can for you now. I'll see. I'm going to give you a fraud. Show you. It was two hundred thousand minus the fifty thousand. So what play work? Hundred and fifty thousand. Do you understand that? Tanya, you fine? Everything inside the block must be totaled on the top of the block, 150,000. Are you fine so far? Is it all right so far? Is it okay? Are we fine? You remember, you must know the format of this. I'm asking you this in the test. Can you read them from it? Right, current liabilities. 
consists out of trade and other payables. This nota number nine. We've done trade and other payables the other day. Bank overdraft, that means it's a bank with a credit balance and the short term part of the loan. What is the short term part of the loan already? What can you get in for? What is the short term part of the That is why it's so important. Because whatever you have there, as you do, you get 10 rand. Whatever you have there must go in here. So if that amount is wrong there, you lose the mark there. But I'm going to get it in here. Is she about the army? You understand that, Mr. Jacobs? Right. But was there a bank overdraft? Come and come, 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 come. Was there a handle some under the top or a withdraw? I'm sure there was. Uh, right. There's a bank overdraft. Come and look for a bank or throw a bank. That's bank or throw a. That's fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. And the only thing that remains is to find out what is our trade and other payables and trade and other payables is everybody we owe money to mark is up we don't pursue an esne as you know by the so come us gaan kijk na ons lijstje van saldos let's see if we can find right is creditors control part of trade and other payables ek het deze bedrag hier ingevuld sit dit kom sit vroeger daar bedrag en sit somal daar en ehm Twelve thousand. Let's make it twelve thousand. I forgot to type in the amount. Let's make it twelve thousand. Right. So I'm going to highlight. This is somebody that we owe money to. So die twelve thousand mute can buy sell. Stimulate on me so. Creditors for wages. Creditors for loan. That is somebody we still have to pay. Part of trade and other payables. So S P A Y E. That can us with us called. Remember, it's not our money. It's money we owe to SARS. So that can deal with this stuff on. Uh, income received in advance. This was a cost of what is now all the crap is in the fork. That, for example, is rent income. So what do we owe our tenant? A plek for four in a year. So that is going to form part of this. Accrued expense, for example, we haven't paid the telephone account. Still owe money, so that will be part. A deposit that we received, a uh, deposit that owns on farm, is it owns held? No, it is whoever paid that deposit, it's their money. We just keeping that money for in case we need that to fix whatever it is the deposit was for. Is he by the army? So all the bedrag. Gaan deel voor hem van handels in ander betaalbaars. Nou, as ek nou vir jou kan raad gee, nou skryf jy, like, you do the calc, because you will see, not this year so much, but next year. You seldom do these notes. Hulle vraag vir jou, doe nie, start, and then you must do your calculations inside the statement. Dus kom ek hierdie ene keer nou so gedoen het. So we are busy calculating trade and other payables. So nou, ek kan ek, it's about so I'm going to write 12,000. This was my this was my start. It's not one amount, so I'm going to show my calculation. It's the 12,000 plus number the Pietra Hamad plus 6,500 plus sorry 3,200 plus 15,000 and then. And draw. That's right. Now look here. Just, just this. That amount will be worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks. So if you do not show me your calculation, I'll create your next name. Let's say that you knew this one should be there and that one should be there, and you showed that, then it's one, two plus your answer, except three marks. So do you understand why you have to show me how you got to that amount? So come on, spot now the 12,000. Plus the 6,500. Plus the 3,200. Plus the 15,000. Plus the 6,500. Plus the 18,000. 61,200. So it's one mark, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7 marks. If your amount is right, dan maak ek 7 tiks is recht. Als het verkeerd is, dan gaan soek ek waar kan ek vir jou punte geef. And I can only give you marks if I can see how you got to your wrong answer. Is oh man, ek vir jou kan punte geef. Are we fine with this? Alles bid in die blokkie gaan ons optel. We're going to add and put the answer at the top. So, you look in 2, 6, 2, and just check my calculation, 1, 2, 6, 200. The nice thing of this statement, even if all your amounts inside this block is wrong and you've added your wrong amounts correctly, I must give you that mark. But I mag give you two keer penaliseer oor die self te fout nie. Are we okay with this? Is jylle all right? Next amount we have to, ek gaan net gaan dit dood maak daar. The next amount we have to cover is our total lot. Ik moet hier naar hebben, dus so dit zal nu weer staan 965 plus de 150 plus de 126200. Ons gaan ons nou al die bedragjes boven die blokjes van mekaar tel. So it's that plus de 150 plus de 965123. Ga jylle ook 124100. Ga jylle dit ook. Check and see if that is the right answer. Okay. So this part of the balance sheet is perfect. No can us van hier die inlichting gebruik to get rid of the question marks. If this is our total equity and liabilities, what must our total assets be? Precisely selfde, isn't that? Because the accounting equation says assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. So this is, so I can get rid of the one question mark. One, one, two, four, one. Is it right? So that one question mark is now gone. Stem jylle saam. Okay. If that question mark is gone, how, uh, uh, how do I get total assets? Non-current plus current. Is that true? Totale bates moet mos, nie bedrijfs bates, minus um, your bedrijfs. So if I want to do that calculation, all I have to do is I must say 1, 2, 4, 1, 200. Minus the 2, 3, 4, 200. Dan gaan ek mos daai praagteken kan weghaal. Is dit reg? Let's do that. So that question mark can go. If that question mark is missing, how can I get rid of this one? What must I do? Ek wil net dood eenvoudig gaan en sê, the 1 million and 7 thousand minus the 75, and then I can get that one. That is, um, the grade 12 are writing, wrote this in the, in the June exam. They're writing it in September. You are writing it June, September, end of the year. Next year, February, March, June, September, end of the year. They love this because if you get one thing right, you can get to the next answer. Wat gaan moor is so oefen en die oefen. Is jylle all right? My calculation here. Okay with this? Is all right?